Automotive technology has come a long way since the Volkswagen campervan. But car makers and suppliers now have their eye on a revolutionary new step. Cars that can drive by themselves. We were driving in the direction of uh, this blue uh, vehicle dummy. The system will um, brake itself if I do nothing. So please be aware, this is a pretty hard braking. The Financial Times came to a test field near Hanover in Germany to discover how Continental is gearing up for a new era of autonomous driving. The German part supplier is developing a range of technology from devices that can detect if the driver is paying attention to stereo cameras and radar sensors that see pedestrians and obstacles. Some driver assistance functions such as emergency braking and lane assist are already widely available. Continental believes that partially automated stop-and-go driving on the motorway should be possible at low speeds as soon as 2016. I like to drive uh, my car too, especially some sports, uh, sports car or that. Yeah, but sometimes it's it's boring to drive from from home to uh, to the office, so three quarters or uh, of an hour, or a complete hour, and in between uh, you can do something. Yeah? The prerequisite for doing higher automation levels, safety. I have my legs here, don't, will not use my feet, um, only steer. And if we are crossing the, the light barrier, the pedestrian dummy will move to the right in front of us. And if I or the system will not do anything, we will crash into it, but the system will avoid the crash. Time to drive automated. I will now switch on the lateral control again. Let you see here, the lines are shown, and I will enable the ACC to 70 kph. And now I don't use my feet and even not my hands, so we can we can drive very relaxed, and I can talk to you. We're now in a traffic jam simulation, a mini traffic jam, as we used to say. Um, the proceeding vehicle is stopping, I'm not doing anything, and the ACC is breaking us to stand still now. Although the technology is well advanced, national regulators will ultimately decide when it is safe for drivers to take their hands off the steering wheel. Still, a future of self-driving cars is fast becoming a reality. Chris Bryant for the Financial Times near Hanover.